Hey everyone, Bob Lung with RotoExperts.com, bringing you some consistently hot players this week to pick up off the waiver wire because they've been consistent recently and you want to have those kind of players and not the one-week wonders that everybody raves about. All right, so let's take a look at the quarterback position. A lot of buys going on this week. Six teams are out, so we want to find some consistently good players that can help your team out. Quarterback spot, my pick of the week for consistent players who might be on that waiver wire, Josh Freeman for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Josh has been pretty hot this year, 5 of 7 in quality games, but 3 out of the 4 of the last 4 weeks. So he's good, he's looking great this week, he's got a matchup at Atlanta who's 27th against the pass. So great pickup, grab him off your waiver wire, squeeze him in for your uh, players who might be off this week for your bye week. Alright, at the running back position, this is always a very, very weak spot in the waiver wire because there isn't a lot out there. I'm not even going to say these two guys are available. One probably won't be. The other one might be, but he's a little bit riskier. The one who's kind of been hot late recently and been kind of consistent for the packed back weeks now since he's become the full starter in Arizona is Chris Beanie Wells. Now, with Tim Hightower kind of slowly moving aside, Chris has been stepping it up. Now, there was some issues this week about his knee, but he said it was just some swelling from an allergic reaction. Nothing to be concerned about. He's 100% healthy. However, the sad, bad part is, is that he's going into Minnesota against a pretty tough Minnesota rush defense. But, again, he's put up back-to-back -back quality games. Um, Minnesota's been 13th against the run, so not bad, not great, but he will be get the, most of the touches. If he gets 20 carries, probably can get you 80 yards and a touchdown, and that's a quality game in anybody's book. All right, the other kind of flyer guy I want to go with. Here's something I found amazing this week from a consistency standpoint. Over the past two weeks, the Oakland Raiders have put in not one, not two, but three running backs every week the past two weeks. Back-to-back -back weeks, they've had three quality games by three different running backs. Derry McFadden, Michael Bush, and the third guy is Marcel Reese. He's your flyer this week. He's, like I said, had had back-to-back -back quality games. They've got a great matchup in Kansas City. This should be a real shootout. They're fighting out for the AFC West spot, so you, know, you want to see if he can get in. If he can squeeze in a touchdown and maybe 40 yards, call the game earned, can help you get uh, that desperate bye week running back position filled. All right, let's take a look at the wide receivers. A lot of wide receivers that I thought would be a good pickup this week are off. Danny Amendola, Michael Crabtree, all these guys are on bye weeks as well. But the guy who's been picking it up recently and kind of fell off the face of the earth the first three weeks of the season is Robert Meacham in New Orleans. The past three out of four weeks, he's earned a quality game, and this week he's got a, a matchup at Carolina. He's been hot. He's been clicking with Drew Brees. Drew Brees is fine, by the way, for those of you who thought he was hurt. Um, he's 100% healthy, and Robert Meach in the hand should match up quite well this week and probably earn you a quality game in Carolina. All right, our last spot, the tight end position. Again, not normally usually a lot of guys left out there to pick up, but Todd Heap has quietly put up two quality games out of the last three weeks. He's got a matchup against Miami at home, which are, where he always usually does, seems to do better. So you want to pick him up this week and get him in uh, off your waiver wire. So there's your consistently hot players coming into the waiver wires this week. So everybody have a consistently good week. I'm Bob Lung, RotorExperts.com.